Welcome to Cliffy's Kitchen once more. We're gonna take you today through a very nice journey of doing a favorite of most people, macaroni and cheese. Of course, after we go through this, you're gonna love to have it like never before. And our very capable uh, person that we have to demonstrate this to you is none other than Jodian. She's a part of Cliffy's Kitchen, and so we're gonna turn you over to her right now. So today I'm going to be making a baked macaroni and cheese. Some people have it as their side dish with whatever meal they're having. Others could have it as the whole meal. It could go either way that you want. So come with me as I take you through step by step on how to make a delicious baked macaroni and cheese. So to get started in making our baked macaroni and cheese, here's all the ingredients I'm going to be using. Starting from the top left, I have my macaroni pasta, the elbow shaped. I have some black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, paprika, some of Cliffy's special all natural, all purpose seasoning. I'm putting this in my macaroni because it's good with everything I'm telling you. I also have some heavy cream some whole milk uh, going down I have a third of a cup of flour some fresh chopped bell peppers onions and garlic and then as for my cheeses it's a mix of gruyere gouda mozzarella some sharp cheddar and some extra sharp yellow cheddar and lastly I have butter so I'm going to start by adding half of the package of pasta that I had to this boiling pot of salted water. This package has two pounds. I'm going to use half of it. So just one pound or 16 ounces of the elbow macaroni. Okay. Give it a stir. Some people would add a bit of oil to their water that way they avoid the shell sticking but I'll do something when I drain it off to avoid sticking so I'm gonna let that cook until al dente that should take about eight to ten minutes al dente basically means to the to the touch or to the bite so when you bite it it's not gonna be too soft it's not going to be too hard, just right. So while my pasta cooks, I'm going to go on making my cheese sauce for the macaroni. Some people have a way of just putting the raw cheese into the cooked pasta and think that's it. No, no, no. I'm making a bona fide cheese sauce for my macaroni. So I'm going to start off by adding six tablespoons of butter unsalted butter to a pot or pan or whatever you want to use. We're gonna let that melt down and then we're going to add our fresh seasoning or onion, garlic and bell peppers. Alright, the butter is melted. Now for the fresh ingredients. And what this will do is give your cheese sauce a really great flavor. So we're gonna let these cook. Get all of the flavor out of them and add the next ingredients. While the flavors are being extracted from my fresh ingredients, I'm going to now add two teaspoons of Cliffy's seasoning. One, two, and let it continue cooking. We're going to let these uh, cook down for about two minutes. By then, all the flavors should come together. Okay, so about two minutes has gone by. 
I can smell the flavors of all the fresh ingredients plus Cliffy's seasoning all uh, coming together. So at this point, I'm going to now add my flour to the mix. And this is what's going to thicken our sauce, bring everything together. So I use my spoon, mix it in with everything. And it's going to get clumpy. Don't worry about that. We'll soon loosen it up. But we want our flour to cook properly. So we're going to go on mixing it until, I mean, about three minutes. And it should be cooked through. Now that my flour has gotten a chance to cook out, to get all the rawness out, I'm going to be adding my milk and my heavy cream. So it's going to be three cups of milk and one cup of heavy cream. That's my milk. And I'm gonna add my heavy cream as well. One cup of heavy cream. This is not only going to add to the flavor, but also the texture, a smooth texture to our sauce. If you're liking this video so far, I'm gonna ask you to show the love as usual. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Of course, you'll be the first to see our video when the next one is dropped. So go ahead and do that. We appreciate it so much. At this point, I'm now going to switch over to a different instrument, my whisk. And this is going to make sure my flour doesn't have any clumps in my cheese sauce. So I'm going to continue whisking this mixture until it thickens up a bit. And then I'm going to... Um, add my powdered seasoning, my garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, salt, and paprika. And then, for the star of the show, my cheese. Now, I don't know how well you can see, but my sauce is definitely thickening up from, you know, the milk and the flour being added. What I'm going to do now is add my, my powder seasoning, so I'm starting with my onion powder, just a pinch, because remember we had the fresh onion in there, same for the garlic powder, just a pinch. I'm going to sprinkle some paprika, not too much, about that should be good, and then I'm also going to go in with my black pepper. For me, you can't have too much black pepper in your cheese sauce for your macaroni. To me, it only adds or enhances the flavor of the cheese. For some reason, might not be like that for everyone, but I put at least one tablespoon of black pepper into my cheese sauce. So it has thickened up considerably. I'm going to go ahead and add my cheese now. Before I add my cheese, I'm going to turn my heat off because the sauce is basically cooked. We just need the cheese to melt down and then I'm going to go in with all of that wonderful cheese. This was about six cups of cheese that I had grated and it does make a big difference when you grate the cheese yourself than buying the um, pre-grated cheese. I think it gives you a more well-rounded tasting product when you just get the block of cheese and grate it yourself. Now, I'm gonna continue whisking until everything comes together. Wow, that was fast. Okay, so all my cheese has been incorporated. Look at that. That's a beautiful cheese sauce with some character because not everyone adds 
the fresh garlic, onion, and bell peppers to their sauce, that does make a big difference. So at the end of the day, your cheese sauce is supposed to look nice and thick like that. Nice and thick like that. All right, I'm ready to add my pasta. Now, I told you earlier there is something that I do to avoid my macaroni um, shells from sticking together, and that would be to just add a tip of oil, olive oil, vegetable oil, any kind of oil that you want, to your macaroni once you've strained it off, and just run it through the macaroni, and that will help to keep them loose. Alrighty, now let's add our cooked macaroni to our cheese sauce. I'm going to do this in stages because I don't want to have too much macaroni to suck up all of the sauce. Okay, so just a little at a time. And then I'll mix this in and I'll know for sure how much I need to add to this. Oh my goodness, this looks and sounds so good. All right, this definitely can take some more macaroni. I'm gonna add the rest of macaroni and then I'll put it in my baking dish. So I ended up using all of my macaroni. I'm going to add this now to my baking dish. This is a three quart baking dish. So I'm going to add some first, like a small layer. I'm going to smooth it out. And then remember that cheese that I had reserved earlier. I'm gonna put that cheese now in this middle layer and then cover it up with the rest of macaroni that I have. Spread it out. I'm gonna end up having to grate some more cheese to put on top of the macaroni, but the more cheese, the better. This is baked mac and cheese anyways. All right, and now for our top layer. Let's get it all in there everything out and then we're gonna pop it in the oven uh, don't be like me don't make a mess and if you do clean up after yourself please <laughs> all right so that's that I'm gonna put some more fresh grated cheese on top and then put it in the oven I have it preheated at 350 degrees Celsius and it's gonna be in there until the cheese on the top melts down to a nice golden brown color and everything comes together. So now this is what it's looking like after I've added the freshly grated cheese on top. I'm gonna put this in the oven for about half an hour. Alright guys, so this is the finished product, baked macaroni and cheese. I had it in the oven, initially I thought it would be half an hour, but to get the perfect color I kept it in there for about 45 minutes and this is what we ended up with. Looking great, I'm going to cut into it shortly so we can see inside, but so far so good. For watching this macaroni and cheese video guys we trust you did find some value in it if you have please remember to like this video and of course not to be overemphasized if you have not subscribed as yet please remember to hit that subscribe button you'll be the first to see our next video of course we do have our social media pages like Facebook and Instagram those we appreciate you taking a look at and tell us what you think about what we are doing we appreciate what you have been contributing so far and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.